Help me welcome this morning, uh, Mr. Kai. Where's Kai at? Come on up here, Kyler. It's a special man right here, and we're getting to see him uh, flourish in the Lord. And so he's going to share a little bit today. And why don't you start, Kyler, maybe tell us a little bit about where your life was before coming here or some of the things that you've gone through uh, in your adolescent and and adult years so far. And then after that, we'll kind of hear from you about how things are going for you now. All right, sounds great. Uh, So I started using um, drugs at a very young age. Um, It was kind of just in my life. And... uh, how I got here was I was, uh, if anybody's familiar with Johannesburg, Red Mountain, um, I went out there to visit a friend, and uh, I started using again. I was cleaning for a while. I was living at my mom's in Mojave, and I went out there, and uh, I started injecting. Um, and out there, they have vertical mine shafts, and uh, one day, I just... I just had enough, and I was going to take my life. And something just uh, told me to pull my phone out and call my mom. So I called my mom, and I asked her, if I call the police, will they come out here and get me and, and tell them I want to I take my life? So she told me yes, so that's what I did. And that same night that I decided to go to the crisis center, that's where they took me in Ridgecrest, and uh, my daughter, uh, she's three years older. Her name is Dekyla. She, now that I see, she cried out to God that she was pretty much saying that she loves me and she misses me. And the foster mom caught it on video and my mom sent it to me and I seen it. And it's crazy because coming here is the first time ever in my life that I made that decision for myself, that I wanted to change my life. I wanted to get help and I wanted a relationship with God. And since I've been here, I've been here about three weeks now, I've had um, some pretty intense encounters. Um, I really just have been pressing in and taking advice. And the one thing I had trouble with is uh, the things going on around me. But I am getting better at that now. And I am just focusing on myself and my relationship with God, my daughter. Those are the most important things in my life. But number one is God. And uh, last weekend, uh, I don't know, some people may have seen, I was standing over here. Um, Tom was praying over me and Pastor Validia, and I was rocking, and he just told me to fully surrender, fully surrender. And I did, and he said, he's about to take you to the ground and fill you with the Holy Ghost. And I, within 10 seconds, just fell backwards. And the rush the love, the joy, the peace that I felt in that moment for about 10 minutes was the most amazing thing that I've ever felt in my life. 